What's up, guys? And of course, welcome to another Pokemon Wi Fi battle with yours, through, of course, the Scarender. And today we're going to against Sky, actually, in a UU match, uh, which I had on my stream. Now, he goes by another name on Twitter, which I sadly have forgotten. Therefore, Kai, if you see this game, please post your Twitter name and YouTube channel because I knew you had one. And I'm feeling really bad because, this was, like I said, this battle was three weeks ago and I have sadly forgotten. But this was a very, very fun game. And Kai here is bringing Glead, Slow King, Houndoom, Noivan, Arcanine, and Flygon. I myself is using Mianxiao, Entei, Mamo, Metagross, Jaros, and Heliolisk. Now, this team has done fairly well. It's not ideal. It's actually really weak to fighting, which is something that should be noted. It's a bit too brittle too, so Jaros fills the void, uh, obviously, but uh, I really can't rely on it too much. And Metagross is not a good mon in this environment. I'm trying to actually use it properly, but I haven't been doing well, so I will say that I'll probably switch out Metagross in a future game with this team in mind. I haven't updated my UU team since the tier change, but that is of course very likely to happen. Now, look into his team here. I knew that Mian Xiao could do damage, it's Scarf and also I pretty much had an idea of bringing it in, do something, and then fall back to Jaros if, if I'm able to, because I only need one Dragon House to kind of pull this off. So, with all this, my guys, let's go. Also, I'm recording in 60 frames per second, so if you guys like this, then do tell me. I actually usually record in 30 frames per second, but you know, I kind of pulled it off. So anyway, he'll leave with the flying on, which kind of was expected. I go for a knockoff here, hoping to take off his item, which is of course a choice scarf. Now he'll go for an outrage, and that's actually an Oko. And I was like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Alright, but at least I know he's locked into that, so I go into Volga, of course being Jaro. So I was thinking, I take this opportunity to set up Dragon Dance and hope he has two outrages in a row. While that's fair and all, Outrage, you know, after Intimidate, still does a lot of damage. It does get the confusion after one turn, which is unfortunate, but, you know, it's okay. We can set up a Dragon Dance here, and we are really, really, really dangerous here. And, of course, Leftovers will press us back for some HP, and I do believe I go for another one, hoping that he either goes for, try to go for another Outrage or switch out, and he's gonna go to Slow King. Now, here's the thing. Slow King, huh? You know, it's not the most dangerous mod, but, you know, Skulls can burn us and all, which is awful and stuff like that. So, I was thinking that I might try to go for a sub, you know, anything to kind of void him off, but decided instead to go for Bounce in case of that um, it actually would probably be enough to hurt him. Now, he'll go for a Fusion Sight, which is kind of cool. Uh, don't see future side sloking that often. It will go for the bounce, and I was so sure it's gonna kill. Oh my lord! It just lived it, and it goes for psychic, which does not do a lot of damage. But um, we are after future side gone one turn already, so I am actually better off going for this turn for another bounce because in the third turn I will be up in the air, which means that his uh, future side will miss. Now he'll go to his uh, Arcanine, and. Here I was like, ah, damn it, you know, Intimidate is nice and all, and that's a perfect opportunity for me to set up a sub against his Willow, right? And that was my initial thought. Um, obviously, I'm locked into the bounce, which is really, really scary, because when I come down, I do risk the burn, sadly, and uh, obviously, that is exactly what happens. So, I'm almost sadly locked into bounce when it switched out, and my god, you know, that just had to happen, right? Just my luck, really. Just my luck. So anyway, you know, leftovers and stuff like that will go off. And I was really feeling, you know, that that you know, I should have killed the slow king in the first place. I should not have been in this position whatsoever. So I go for the waterfall, basically killing this Arcanine. Here's there's no way it's taking that. I'm still at 75% power even with the burn in mind. But due to the burn, I know it can stall me out. You know, I, I'm not recovering any more HP, and I can't go for dragon dances. It, it, it won't matter. Uh, I am definitely whittled down, and I was a bit frustrated here because I knew that there was really nothing I could do. So here's the flying on, and um, I was ba basically hoping I had enough power to actually take this one out, which is, of course, what I don't do. But luckily for me, it goes for a freaking U turn, 
and I do manage to live it, which is, you know, it's not that bad, it really isn't. I was so surprised, first of all, that the Flygon lived, because I really thought that I had enough power to kill it, but not only that, he goes for a U-turn, you know, he really overestimates his position, and he loses a lot of momentum, forced to bring in Nino King again, but the thing is here, and I can't stress this enough, I can't go for bounce, I must go for a waterfall, because the bird will take me out, he knows that, switches out to Flygon, actually, and I won't deny it, I really, really thought it would stay with Sloking. I think that was a better choice, uh, seeing that Flygon is incredibly dangerous to my team now that I lost my Mian Xiao or Legolas. Uh, so right, Flygon does go down, which is awesome, because Arcanine and Flygon is gone, which will help our team immensely. But at the same time, I won't, I won't really deny it. I think my I was real unlucky with Gyarados, but it did live a freaking long time. So anyway, here's the Neuven. Um, which I do believe is a Specs Noiva at this point, I bring Entei and I felt like, ah oh, shit, I have nothing to take the Draco, I really don't so I'm better off trying to take it and go for Stone Edge and that is what I'm gonna try to do, so here's the Draco and I was like, ah oh, shit, ah oh, shit, ah oh, shit and what do you know, Entei being the beasts of a beast, do live it and not only that, he does connect to Stone Edge and that is, boom, Noiva gone <laughs> So, yeah, I guess some luck it came back to me, but that was one hell of a turn. Uh, now, here brings Sloking here, and I could either risk going for Stone Edge here, losing my Entei, or bring my Hillisk, which of course will with dry skin. I do believe it, yeah. Uh, I can't take the potential Scald. Now, I was pretty sure he could go for a Psychic. Luckily for me, he just go for Scald. Um, like I said, he would have been better off with Psychic, but I'll definitely go for just Bolt Switch, and I don't sadly kill him. I'm pretty close though, you know, on specs and all, but yeah, Sloking is still pretty darn bulky, you know, can't really annoy that. So I go to Red Low, being Metagross, because Metagross can't really do a whole lot this battle anyway, so I'm just better off just throwing it in. I go for Meteor Mass, hoping for Attack Boost. That, that was my initial thought, basically, because I knew I would have speed Sloking anyway, but... Basically, there was no reason to go for Bullet Punch at that point. I don't sadly get the um, Attack Race, and against the Houndoom, I do decide not to go for a Bullet Punch, hoping to Arceus that I can live a Fire Blast. You know, who am I kidding? It is a Houndoom. It is so strong. I think it's 130 Special Attack, even 140. That's an Oko. Boom. <laughs> so at this point, it was like, I have Mammal left, I have um, Hillisk left, and I have Entei. I might as well go to Entei, hope that Extreme Speed does a good amount of damage. I need to take roughly uh, two thirds of his HP to actually force or to be able to kill him with an ice shot. But I don't. I said I don't do that. And Entei will fall, of course. But yeah, basically, I only have Mammal left now to have proper response. And Fire Blast is actually, I do believe, an 80% chance of killing us. So, but I, I couldn't go for an ice shot because I have no way of actually killing it. And uh, yes, freaking yes, Mammo just live it thanks to Thick Bad. And uh, you know I won't really lie. Like I said, I have an eighty percent chance of actually dying from that fire blast. And I think it got worst roll ever, <laughs> and even survived with a life form in mind. So he goes to his last one, being a Glade. And the only thing I really need to do now is go for an ice shot, hoping that he is not Scarf and lock himself in close combat and we should have this game in the bag and uh, basically I was pretty much praying here and go for a Swole or something like that because that would be incredibly dangerous uh, he goes for Rock Slide which means that if he's choice he's locked into Rock Slide which I can deal with and basically he is obviously not Scarfed and we win this game I was so stressed at that last turn I can't deny that so yeah I mean GG Chai and all um, like I said there, I was extremely lucky this game, you know, there is really no reason for me to try to even say anything else. Uh, obviously, the Entei surviving the break on Retaliate with Stone Edge. God damn it, that was, that was really cool, but very, very lucky. His Slow King does live, though, the bounce, which is also one of those things, like, it's... It makes the game interesting, because that was not supposed to happen, you know, I lock myself with the bounce, it switches Arc and I, and, you know, gets the Willow and all. You know, that, that's, that's the game for you, and it came down pretty darn close, and I will probably say that I think it is unfortunate that my opponent lose, because I do believe he has a better team in general, and um, he doesn't take as much chances as I do, 
But in the end, you know, stuff like this do happen, and I am very lucky to come out on top. Uh, so yeah, I want to thank everybody for watching, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video. And remember, the sky's limits. Until then, guys. No, I have no idea what I'm saying. <laughs> you know, take care, and all guys. I'll see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>